Hi guys, it's Daniel from Tech Plague, and today I'm going to be making a very basic guide on how to enable SSH on your Ubuntu server, which we installed in the previous video. SSH allows you to control your command line computer from afar. So, for example, I can connect to a VPS and log in and control this, which is in London, from my home. We can press X. So this is what we're going to install in here. So our login was the tech plague, and the password was 12. The first thing you want to do is sudo apt get install open ssh server. Oops. Then you want to type in your password for that. And it's already installed for me, but just go through, install it. Uh, it may ask you how much data you want to use, press yes. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to just check the configuration file. So sudo uh, nano, which is the text editor we installed. You can use something called gedit, which is spelled like that. Just sudo apt get gedit, and then you can use gedit instead of nano. So for slash etc, for slash ssh, for slash sshd underscore. We press tab, and it feels like the best for us. This is the configuration file. As you can see, you've got host keys. Uh, what what is it going to listen on? These are commented out, so you can just uncomment those if you want to and listen on specific addresses. Uh, you've got grace time. Uh, this is how long you can sit without being kicked. So, for example, if I log into one of my VPSs, what I'm doing right now is the grace time. I'm not doing anything, I'm not logging in. So, technically, in 120 seconds from now, it will kick me from. I guess it's just to save resources. Uh, you can uh, only you can use SSH keys only, so you don't have to use passwords. Uh, you got an MOTD, I think I just saw. You go print MOTD, and you can write MOTDs in. And you've got these pan logins. Normally, you want to change this, just press Control X and clear. Now, to check that's working correctly, you want to type in SSH dash V and then localhost. So, SSH is what we're going to run, V is the command parameter, and localhost is where we're connecting to. So, it's connecting to ourselves. So it's going to cut off all this information for you, and since I've already logged into myself, it's not going to. So it's going to come up with this debug window. You want to just type in yes that you want to accept its key. As you see, it's a known host here. You can see it says that there. Type in the password for your current user. You can see I'm now under SSH. And now under SSH, and type in exit. And that exits the SSH client. Now you can be at work, at school, whatever, and use an SSH client to connect to your computer. You can run commands as usual, and it's, it's all pretty much the same. This has been Daniel from Tech Play. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has helped you. If it has, please make sure to like and subscribe. It really helps us out. And thanks for watching.